All right, you guys, welcome to SEMA 2019. And we are gonna start it off with none other than James, the Stradman's Supra behind me here. Front and center, right at the beginning of Central Hall. James, I don't know how you stole this spot, but you son of a Car looks amazing, I love it. The details, of course, the skull wheels, you guys, absolutely killing the game. But we didn't come here to see yet more Supras. We're gonna go inside and check out the brand new Corvette C8 and the race car, the C8R. Very excited and might have to add that to the list. Swinging by the Precision Turbo booth, we have none other than Alex's Audi R8 twin turbo build. You guys have seen this car plenty of times. Oh, it looks beautiful. Rear bumper delete and a cheeky little bastard took the Performante Lamborghini <laughs> engine cover and put it on his R8. Found this insane NSX GT3 Evo in full raw carbon fiber. Obviously this is a race car, but what are your thoughts if we were to start building on the Daily Drone Exotics channel, race car look-alike street cars? I don't, does that make sense? My concept is to buy the exterior carbon fiber shell that is on this car, then you'd buy a street example NSX and convert all of these body panels onto that street car to make the most insane example of a street going car. You guys let me know in the comments if you think that'd be something that we should start doing here on Daily Drone Exotics. Well you guys, after walking around, I finally ran into our boy TJ Hunt's 458 GT3 car. Absolutely killed it. Great job, execution on the build. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this car, when you get up close and look at it in person, he's one of the few guys that I would say executed a true high-level SEMA build where the fit and finish and everything on this car is beautiful. So TJ, huge shout out to you, bro, as I feel a lot of people feel that some of the SEMA builds have been rushed and they're still delivered, not quite at the level that SEMA would deserve. And I feel like this car is definitely at that caliber. So my hat's off to you, bro. Look how sexy those HRE wheels look with all the carbon fiber. This is an actual factory GT3 racing kit. So you got the carbon fibered louvers. I'm not sure what color this is, but I'm gonna say forest green with like a bronze HRE wheel. Damn, button built, killing the game. This 355 turned out so sick. That wrap is something else. Look at these fenders, got like an F40 look to this thing. Wide body, all custom. Got that gated gearbox and a massive setup in the back. We got twin turbos. Well done, well played. That thing is crazy. This is the most amount of modified exotics and supercars and what the f Is that a slammed G-Wagon wide body? Obviously on air. Some seriously crazy rotiform wheels. Okay, that's nuts. What do you guys think? So I just got word from another attendee that there are around 45 brand new 2020 Supras here in SEMA. Hence why I did not bring my wide body Supra to SEMA and I've been thrashing it out of it outside on the streets. But there are some beautiful examples. Yellow was my other choice. We were always talking about ketchup and mustard. So I got ketchup and then we turned it into guacamole. I don't know what happened there, but these things are absolutely sick. I was tempted to do the carbon fiber front splitter. This guy's got carbon fiber side skirts. I think it cleans it up. Pretty cool looking as far as yellow and black goes, like the wheel choice. Of course, Ray's engineering wheels, very JDM. I'm trying to make my way to B is for builds Huracan. This guy put an LS swapped twin turbo engine Frankenstein into this Huracan. We definitely got to go see it. And I believe the whole front clip is from a Super Trofeo. Another one. 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 You guys, as you know, I love to go sideways, and this is Dean's Drift Viper. Does it get any more epic than a Drift Viper? I mean, come on. So he drives this car in Formula D. This thing is absolutely nuts. Look at the size of the engine and the turbos and the intercoolers, like it takes up the whole front of this car. Obviously this car has some special components to make this car go extremely sideways. And we're hoping that Dean is gonna be able to give us some insights as to how I can build the front suspension of the Huracan to get some more drift angle. That is a goal of mine for 2020, to start sliding the cars around everywhere we go and to get as much angle to make it look as extreme as possible. 
another one. We finally made it over to the Garrett booth and look what we have here. B is for builds, Huracan monstrosity. This thing has an LS swapped twin turbo. I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna get into it. You guys know I'm awful at explaining anything mechanical. I know this is a super trofeo kit and that's dead sexy. How you doing? Good, Kyle, it's great you, to see you. You built some crazy bro. We try, I mean. Sometimes you just gotta push it. Chris did good last year at that 240. Yeah. He really wanted to raise the bar and I feel like we did it. I think you did. Break this down. For all the people on our channel that maybe haven't seen B is for Build, definitely go check them out. This is like the complete opposite of what we do. Engineer, mechanics, designing, stuff like this. I'm the driver, that's all I do. The previous owners had done their own twin turbo setup. They had a fuel regulator problem and it just burnt the entire rear end. The, the frame was melted on both sides, the engine was toast. I mean, this car was never gonna be driven again. There were parts gonna be ripped off and it was gonna be thrown in the graveyard. We got it, we had them just cut everything out that they could. So once you hack everything away, I can't comprehend how you even find the parts. You just, you build your own frame again or what do you do? So for this one, they actually had another um, Huracan there that had taken an impact in the back but it didn't really have the damage to it. Okay. So it just threw the engine forward, basically cut that off and we used the factory welds that were already in place to be able to match it up and get the most support we could. What is the motor you have in this? Aluminum re-sleeve motor that we got from Texas Speed. Okay. They did a great job. They, they have a whole video that they did where they break down kind of the whole process. We originally talked to them about getting about a thousand horsepower. Yeah. They gave us up a little call about well, if we do these other couple upgrades, we can bump that up to 15, You're like you sold us. Whoever the salesman is, he's really good. He, yep. he, he hit you with the upsell, that's what it's called. Absolutely. And we have twin turbo setup from Garrett. This is what's gonna really give us that last push to get the speed that we want out of it. Everything here you can see, like this X bar, this uh, frame, I mean, we, we, we got a new frame welded on, but still need a lot of support. All these charge pipes, exhaust pipes, everything's custom made to be able to fit those turbos up high. And then we wanted the pipes just going straight up. Really, with the, when we get those fireballs shooting, we want them going straight up in the air. <laughs> we want people to know we're here. So you have a Super Trofeo kit that then you started, you hacked it up. Early on, my, uh, Chris had always wanted to work with the designer, Tizel Saleem. Okay. Sent, uh, looked at a few of his renderings before. He's like, I love this part, I love this part. Just show me what you can give me. And Tizel came back with this design that just blew our minds. But the first thing we ever got was this Graziano transmission. This is out of an Audi R8, yep. and that was probably one of the most expensive pieces we ever bought. So when it was bought, we knew the build was a go. Rotiform, you guys killed it with them as far as the wheel goes. Look at that, you guys. And I have big hands. I'm not bragging. Listen, I'm not bragging, but I have big hands. You know what that means, big gloves. Interior is pretty nutty. You guys have race seats in here. Very first Huracan in the world with three pedals. That's insane. Look these for build, check them out. Subscribe, link in description. Another one, another one, another one. Oh yeah, we found my absolute favorite example of a Supra, even over my car. The HKS wide body Supra here at the SEMA show is pretty, pretty extravagant. First of all, look at the size of this wing. Chassis mounted, done in a style very similar to what's on my Huracan. And uh, this thing is a monster. I wish I could get more behind it, but I can't. Then of course you got the wide body kit. Now this is kind of like the Pandem style with the cutout for the gas tank, but not like the Pandem at all when you start looking at the way that it's designed. This reminds me of like an RWB style Porsche build right here with this extra little arrow. Man, this thing's so gorgeous too in this like matte finish. It just shows all the body lines as you guys can see. Now, my arch nemesis white wheels with these steel brakes. I don't know how they do it. This thing is absolutely insane, you guys. Probably my favorite example of a Supra here at the SEMA show for 2019, right next to obviously the Supra in the Toyota booth, which is a concept. So if I had to take one, I'd even take this one over my own car. Look who I found. How are they Rolling all around. What up, man? Cobra's in the house. Charlie, what's up? How you doing? We're here too, we're good. Thank goodness I found someone to hang out with. Dave, Dave got a little bit white girl drunk last night. And Dave didn't make it to SEMA today. But now, I have friends. The replacement Dave, the better looking. So listen, favorite car of SEMA, go. Johnny. Ah, uh, 64 Impala. Green, white interior, fire. Why'd I ask you? Favorite car of SEMA, go. One of the twin turbo 68 Camaros. Wow, That's neither of these guys like supercars. Get off my no. channel. Is this besides massive? It was a Corvette. It was a Corvette. It got in a fight with a forged carbon 
body kit and and some like cool. 26 inch wheels yeah it's twin turbo it's got a lot of cool stuff to it it's really neat like granite countertop yeah it's, it's a granite, granite countertop. counter the granite this countertop is the new idea kitchen oh yeah so you don't even know how many holy shit the Nikes. it's pretty crazy hey like this is one of Corvette hangs out with supercars I want I want to know like what size are these tires a 405 25 24 another one yo new merch shopdd.com it's glowing up glows in the dark it's glowing up another one check this thing out oh it's the one from race service i love this car yeah right look at this ferrari i can do like, it like bro there's no padding in there whatsoever dave finally made it into the vlog how you doing dave so listen, oh, listen we need to do a quick review on the C8 because I avoided it all day. This is really what I wanted to look at. This is what we need. Right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you think of that? I think this is what I'm going to build. We start building cars where we buy the race car parts and put them on the street cars. Yes. This thing is insane. And it's kind of cute that it has like a little roof scoop. I think she built the production car as far as styling goes. Very aggressive. Jesus. You can't bring these guys anywhere. You can't take them anywhere. You don't have to wrestle me on the price. We'll take it. Okay. We'll take the race car. All right. You got the white one. I got the blue one. I also got the R, okay? I know I spent a lot of money. The budget for 2020 with DDE just went up. Hey, Say hi to everybody. Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're here at SEMA. How you doing? Good. I'm tired, dude. How are your feet? My feet are killing me. My feet later. are killing me. I'm done. Break it. I mean, don't break it. I mean, there's a lot of people here. It's even better. <laughs> Get the shotguns out. A couple of shots in the right. air. Right. Hey, we're right? Hit the new for that challenger in a minute. <laughs> <laughs>
So Dean, say hi to all the audience. What's up guys? So this is Dean's race car. It is a freaking monster. Isn't this thing nuts? So this thing has 1,350 horsepower. This does full 90 degree? Uh, it does 76 degree steering angle, which- 76, that's a lot. A double wishbone front steering rack car, it's quite a lot. I'm gonna ask him to help me make the Huracan R Bear with me, I say Tire Slayer, I'm almost embarrassed to say it around real, around <laughs> real drift drivers. You know? I'm gonna help, but it's gonna cost you the keys of the Hurricane. I'll let you drive it. I'm so humble right now. Damon's always like, I'm the best drifter ever. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, I'm the best. He's not saying that now, it's weird. It's Come on, funny, you're, weird. Dave's always talking about how he reverse entries onto the freeway. Always. <laughs> $100,000 suspension. R&D, you would call yeah, it? Yeah, it's basically R&D. Like, the actual cost of the parts is in that. Super expensive, it's just all the R&D and man, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Daily Driven Exotics. Huge shout out to Dean. We're gonna do something in the near future. I gotta just go even for a ride in this monster. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Smash the subscribe button and make sure if you want some Daily Driven Exotics merch, we just right. dropped this brick. You're in the hat, liar. How come I didn't get any more? I'll send you some. I'll take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys want some merch, go to shopdd.com. Links in the description. See you in the next video. Crash derby action! Yeah, hit him! Hit him! <laughs> <laughs> Later you guys, you yeah. savages! You ripped the lantern cover off of it! <laughs>